If you've ever wanted to get a glimpse of Mars, tonight's the night. The red planet is said to be visible to the naked eye tonight because of a unique alignment between it, Earth, and the Sun. Mars looks like an orange dot in the sky, the brightest it's been in six years. Well, not only is Mars bright tonight, but a mysterious light on the planet has many on full alert and bouncing around theories. You know what that means. Bob McDonald's next. He's going to help explain what's going on. Who turned on the light? Yeah, well, Peter, I don't know. There's a funny glitch uh, came up in one of the pictures on Mars. We have a look at it. It looks like there's somebody in the distance holding a mirror up and flashing it towards our Curiosity rover, or maybe it's headlights from a car or something. Uh, you got to remember that these pictures come from millions of miles across space, and every now and then something like this shows up, and the conspiracy theorists say, hey, there are Martians there. And, you know, we've been seeing Martians on Mars ever since we've had telescopes. Uh, I have a globe of Mars here, and if you do look at it tonight, with a telescope, you'll see something like this if your telescope's good. It's got light and dark markings on it. And way back in the 30s and 40s, people thought there were lines on it and they were canals built by Martians. And when we went there in the 70s with our robots, we didn't see any canals. But we did see one interesting thing in 1976. I have an image of what's called the face of Mars. And this is a hill with the sunlight shining on it just right that people thought, ooh, it's a face that was built by Martians. And some people thought that they saw pyramids beside it. And and ruins from an ancient city. Well, we went back a number of years later with a better camera, a better spacecraft, and a better day. And my last picture shows you what that hill really looks like. It's interesting, but it's not a face, and it's not artificial. So we re would really like to see Martians. I mean, the scientists would love to see Martians, and we're very good at putting patterns together with our brains. So if you see something, you think, ooh, there it is. But so far, no actual Martians have shown up and waved in front of our cameras. Now, you're no fun at all. Uh, those lights look like they were from the front of a 57 Chevy, if you ask me. Yeah, um, could be. <laughs> quick last one, uh, Curiosity, the rover, what's it, uh, what's it doing now? Yeah, well, it's doing a lot. It's been there more than a year now. It showed that where it landed used to be a lake. Uh, it's finding interesting chemistry. It may have supported life. It hasn't found life yet. And it's going to become a mountain climber. It's going to start climbing a mountain that's half the height of Mount Everest. And they're hoping to see the history of Mars and the geological layers. So there's still lots to come, Peter, and we're still waiting for the Martians to turn up. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Bob McDonald, okay. and he's in beautiful Victoria tonight.